Hey everybody, it's Michael. Welcome back to Ogre. Uh, today I've got the volume turned down a little bit more. It was kind of loud in that last video. I want to thank everybody who watched and also thank the devs for stopping by and making some comments. So they let me know that I was using a version that wasn't new, although it released that day and I posted the video at 11, so I, I didn't think to check for an update. Those guys are on the case over there. Anyway, let's play the next, uh, the next mission here, Recruitment Program. Now, I just played this and tried to record it. It was a total loss. Uh, could post it if anybody really wants to see it, but I've come to the conclusion that what we really need to do is you got to take out their guns because it takes forever to take out the treads and they're just going to whittle you down in the meantime. So go for the guns first, I'm thinking, is the strategy. That's what I'm going to try this mission and we'll see if that works. So we've got to defend a series of broadcast centers to stop the, rogue, or the rogers from sending out recruitment messages. They're trying to recruit people using our three broadcast centers. So let's go for it. And um, this mission is a little different than the previous one. We've got a setup zone over here, and so we've got to deploy. Here's our three our three communication centers. We've got one over the river there, which we're not going to be able to get to in time. And we've got a center over here and a center over here. There's two ogres. Fortunately, only one of them is going to be a Mark III. The other one's going to be a Mark I, which is fairly easy to stop. And then over here in deployment, we've got 15 points of armor and 15 points of infantry to deploy. Um, last time I deployed over here and over here and in the middle. And honestly, I'm thinking maybe the middle is the best way to go. Although the ogres can cross the water, I believe, or at least the Mark III's can. So it seems like, I mean, we don't know where they're going to come in, right? So it could be anywhere. I may just go for the same basic deployment that I did last time. Let's go for a super heavy. Here, here, and here. It's going to be six points to get all of those guys down. And then, oh, mm, yes, six points. Okay, and then I want some light tanks. Actually, maybe, do I want to get a few GEVs in? Let's get a few GEVs in. Let's put them right here in the middle. We've got a stacking limit of five. Okay, so let's put those there. And then I'm going to go for missile tanks. Missile tanks have a hit of three. Those guys hit a little harder, but they don't have as much range. And they don't have... No, they actually do have more movement, so let's go for them. It's going to drop one there. I'm going to go ahead and put one there, one there, and then we've got two points remaining. Light tanks have a move a three and a hit of two and a range of two. They don't. What if we drop a couple of light tanks in here? And then we can move them out. You got a couple more too. The thing I'm thinking is massed fire is also a good thing. Being able to uh, have more units fire at one particular thing increases your combat effectiveness. So six points for one marine battle suit unit. Let's go for these four pointers. And I'm going to throw one over here, and I'm going to throw one over here. And then we've got seven points left. So why don't we do just some regular old infantry, and I'll stack them up there. We'll grab that one guy, put him there, and that's the end of the deployment. Let's see what they're going to do. Okay, yeah. They've got a Mark 1 here, or Mark 3 here, and a Mark 1 over here. And yeah, they're going to split in. There's not much we can do there. Their fire phase, now is our movement phase. Okay, now didn't we get some GEVs? Did I? Did I? I did get some GEVs, so... Once they get to here, they'll be able to cross that road pretty quickly. So let's move the GEVs up to here and try to get them on that roadway. All 
Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that Mark 1 come. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let it come. I'm gonna focus on the Mark 3. So let's see what we got over here. The super Heavy, we we'll bring it up. The Heavy, bring it up. And we've got some Battlesuit Troopers over here too. Bring them up. Let's get these guys as close as possible to a road. Bring this super heavy up to a road, too, I guess. So they get no movement bonus on the tracks. Alright, good enough. Wasn't sure. So, all of the move stuff is calculated, right? You click on a guy, it tells you where you can move, and it limits it by what's going on in the, in the terrain. But I wish when you rolled over that you got a little description of what, what the terrain effects are. For instance, I think these hex sides here are difficult terrain, but I don't really know that for a fact. Uh, I would like to know. Okay. Let's bring this guy over this way. I'm gonna bring all of these kids over this way to take on this Mark III. And can't quite get over there, so let's go there. That's it. These guys get to the road. I'm confused though, because it seems like once you got on the road, you'd be going better, but maybe not. So it's just better for me to move over this way, it seems. And you can still move? Uh, yeah, we don't really need you to do that. So in phase, we don't have anything to fire at, so let's take the next move. He's going to get down to the command center there, probably. Oh, it's our GEB secondary movement phase. Nice. Okay. I almost missed that. Take more. I'm going to go for the main battery on this ogre here. And if we can get any than the secondaries. So it's going to take him another turn to commandeer our communication center. Okay, movement phase. Uh, let's see, can you guys get in range of this dude? You can not get in range. Damn it. One, two, three, he's going to get there, then he's going to get a fire phase. I don't know what to do with these guys. I can't get in range to hit. But I don't want him to get in range to hit. And I don't know the range of his weapons, unfortunately. So... I'm almost tempted to leave him there. He's going to get that command center no, no matter what. I'm going to leave him there. That may, be, that may seem silly, but I am. I'm going to leave those guys there. I'm going to bring these guys over far as I can. I'm gonna trust what I've got over here to, to deal with this guy. I think I think they can. I wanna make sure I deal with this Mark III. Cause he's gonna come. He's gonna come over here. Okay, so if you guys get to the road, can you move a little quicker? I think we're just going to come this way. Okay, so if you move, you're just going to move straight there. Yeah, that's fine. I, I'm not getting the value of uh, dealing with roads here. gonna bring these guys up and hope they can hope they can stop that guy okay fire phase we don't have anything to fire at uh, GEV movement phase I really wish I knew what this guy's ranges were 
I know that he can move three, so he's going to get here or here, probably. I don't know if he needs to be next to the communication center. I don't think I'm going to move the GEVs. I'm going to leave him sit. Okay. So he doesn't need to be immediately next to it, maybe. Mother cracker. Really? You got a range of five on that? And we've got two disabled GEVs. Bloody hell. Alright. Well, you've got a range of four. So you can't. You just can't get out of their range, can you? Okay. Fine. Uh, you be done there. He's probably going to take those guys out next turn. Let's bring these guys over. Don't do that. And then infantry move over. Should we sack them there? No, I want to keep them over here. Now infantry are very squishy, and that guy has like eight. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he has eight anti-personnel weapons, so... Okay. Main battery and four AP weapons. Anti-personnel, I should say, not AP. We've got a range of three. And a move of three. One, two, three. If you get in range, yep, let's do it. Gonna double click. If I haven't said... Uh, you click a guy, blue squares are where you can move to, and so you can set up a move path if you need to. And then you double click to actually, actually enforce it. So, let's see, we've got a range of two. Put you all the way up. And if you still have movement left, it's a bit of a pain, because then you, uh, then you have to click that, or else you're still selecting the unit. So anyway. That's that's all. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, I can't get you in range, so I'll just bring you up here. Bring those guys up. And these are infantry. Infantry move up. Infantry move up. GVs, what do I do with you? Do with you. Completely did not accomplish what I needed them to accomplish. It's my fault, I know. He's, he's still gotta hack that sender. One, two, three, four. They've only got a range of two, though. Alright, well, at least they can get in firing range here. Nope, don't do that. Okay. They can get, they can fire, and then they can pull back. So let's see how that works, if it works at all. Let's try. We're gonna fire your main battery with both of those guys. You need a five or better to destroy. Of course not. And of course not. Okay. We'll try to pull him back in time. We're gonna take that guy, and we're gonna go for his main battery as well. So, four, four or better. Oh, yes. His main battery is out. That makes him very ineffective. Beautiful. Okay. So, at least we've done okay over there. Nobody else that can fire, so... Now, GV movement phase. How can we get out? Um... Uh, he can hit us from there, so there's not really much point. But I'll pull back to here. These disabled GEVs should come back. Oh, but can you hit us from back here? I don't know. Let me see. Can we still move him? Yeah. Let's move him back to there. Okay, so he's reached our broadcast center. Oh, an override. Really? You're going to try that, huh? All right. 
Well, uh, we'll go for the treads. Five or better, four damage to treads. Let's take it. Nice. Lost zero treads. Hmm, I don't grok that. Well, I'm gonna ram him. I didn't see what happened. PF heavy tank destroyed by ram. <laughs> okay, whoops. Alright, lost my tank. But that's fine. So this is our movement phase. I have to look up on the board up there to see it. I'm not going to be able to get those infantry in range, and I don't want to get them in range, really, because he's got... I mean, he has the anti-personnel stuff. Well, hell. Whatever. We'll go for it. The Super Heavy's got a move of three and a range of three. He can stay. Heavy's got a move of three, range of two. Let's get him up. Infantry. Oh, okay, we can get in range to do something this turn. Let's use those guys. And you're good. Okay. So we're all set up over here. Now, we've got a range of two, so let's get in there. And these guys are undisabled now? Is that right? Uh, apparently not. Okay. And I'm gonna leave those guys alone. Okay, in phase. Let's go with firing phase. Let's try this one first. We're gonna go for your main battery again. With both GVs. Five or better, please. Nope. Okay. We'll pull them back out. I think if I could learn to use GVs effectively, would be very nice. Okay, we're gonna go for treads again with everybody. Alright. So, five or better. It's a one. So, no treads, no treads. No treads. No treads. And no treads. Oh, okay, we got one more shot. Absolutely nothing. And I even saw a six in there. Okay, there were three treads. That was it, I think. Alright. That was um, embarrassing. Okay, let's go again. GV movement phase. Let's pull... recruiting, so those guys aren't going to get to move, but I think they might be undisabled next turn. He is heading that way. Alright, he's squeaking our infantry over here. Can't really see what's going on. Okay, here's our movement phase. Can you guys really move this turn? You can. Oh, beautiful. But we can't get within range of that bastard. It would be better to pull him back this way. Yeah, let's go for it. Pull him back this way. Oh, and you can go one more, please. And you can go there. Yep, okay. Let's bring him up. I'm gonna leave these guys here, right where they're sitting, until I see where he's gonna come. Do I need to pull anybody back over here? We still have to, we have to disable this guy, so. Okay, so we're going for treads, and everybody is participating. Please. And see if we can roll, like, some fives. Oh, there's a six. Three treads to the super heavy. No treads to the other battery. One tread to those infantry. No treads to the infantry. And... I think that's it. And now we got one more battery. Nope. Four 
portraits. Okay, the heavy tank did us uh, did us a favor over there. Well, he's only got five left, so that's fine. I think I'm gonna pull this super heavy back. In fact, all right, uh, we can't fire on anybody else. So one in phase, and then it's our GV movement phase. How far can you guys get this turn? They can pull back to here. Let's do that. I should say advance to there. And then we'll see where that leaves us next turn. We're trying to do a hit and run on that guy after he comes across the water. We should be able to get up there and do something. I'm wondering whether he can actually reach anything over here. Okay, good. So where did I get those GVs to? Let's get you up to there. Isn't there another GV in there? Oh, I see. We're not done. Another GV in there. Get you up. And then, where is your other one? You in here? There you are. I don't think they're going to be able to get back out of harm's way, but we really need to take out that main battery at the very least. Okay, now the missile tanks could get in range too, right? Cancel that, please. Super heavy, range of three. Two, three. Okay. You know what? I guess we're going to engage. I was thinking we would engage a little bit later, but maybe not. You know, actually, I'm... I'm actually don't know whether that first stat that's a 4 on this guy is its range or its hit ability. Honestly, I don't know. So let's move him up to here. He's got a 2. Now I feel like a dork, and I, I, don't, I don't think that's explained anywhere, but maybe it is. I didn't see it in How to Play. And it's been so long since I've op opened my Ogre Box set, I really don't know what's going on. So, Light Tank, can you get up here too? Yeah, I guess we're committing. Infantry, you get... Well, you guys group up. Okay, so there's that. Let's go see what we need to do over here. You've got five treads left. We've got a missile tank, or some kind of tank, and uh, some infantry here. We've got a heavy tank here. We've got some more infantry here. I'm going to move, that, move those battle suits in range over here. So I'm thinking this is showing that I'm in range of that guy. Oh, okay. It's showing for the infantry, though. Let me click on this guy. Okay, it is showing that I'm in range. Of course, they're both three, so I can't tell anything. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. We need to take that guy out, and I want to make sure. Those treads are just notoriously hard to hit. Probably going to take them out with one guy. But we'll see. i get one kill at least. Okay, that's not. Uh, that's not. Okay, that might be. Only one. Come on, guys. We gotta do more than one tread over here. Nope, I guess we don't. Should, yeah, we'll get this super heavy, who will do absolutely nothing. And now the heavy did nothing. Okay, we've got one tread off of that guy. Fabulous. That's just fabulous. Main battery's got to go. Okay, four or better. Two or better. Target destroyed. Okay, so that leaves it on two or better. And I don't think we're going to get much better than that by adding more vehicles on. So let's save some guys for the secondary batteries. I really want that main battery gone. Okay, and that's going to do it for us. Sweet. Okay. 
Now, let's go for his secondaries. And go with the rest of our guys here. Three or better target destroyed. Yes. Okay, so we took out a secondary battery. He's only got three of those left. He's got plenty of anti-personnel, but... And then we're all done over here, right? Yeah, we're all done over here. Okay. In phase GV movement. Oh, God, I don't know. I mean... Yeah, I guess we can get them back out of range. Better, right? If they are out of range. They should be. Those secondary batteries aren't as good, I think, as the main battery. I think the main battery is the one that can do, like, you know, five. Okay. He's not going to overrun, interestingly. I thought he would. Okay. Alright. He's shooting at my troops over here with his anti-personnel batteries. He's not doing a great job, though. Okay. Uh, you guys are in range, yeah? They are in range. Everybody's in range over here, except for the infantry, so let's get those guys engaged. They are brave little dudes. Little squishy dudes, even in their battle suits. Oh, these are just regular old infantry, too. I think my, most of my marines are over there. Alright, that's it. Give me four treads. Alright. Come on, guys. You gotta do it this time, right? How was that five and no treads? Okay, there's three. And I think we just got some more there. I'm having trouble following the dice versus this, but I think we did it. No, we didn't do it. Come on, one more. One more and you can go help your buddies. I think we got some kind of glitchy going on here. We still got a firing arc over here. That was a six. That better take out a dang tread. There he goes. Alright, he's not moving. That's cool. So we need to pull that entry back. Yeah, there's definitely a little glitchy thing going on there with the trail render. Alright, this guy. We're gonna go for more of these. And I'm gonna try to get to a three or better, maybe? That's a four or better. That's a three or better. So if we just engage the infantry and get a three, we got a one. I got a dang one. All right. I'll try that again. That's four or better. Three or better. Two or better. Let's go for that, I guess. I guess I gotta go for those odds since I roll so poorly. No, three or better would have done it. Okay. Let's try to take out... Should I start working on treads? I better. Because all he's got to do is get here, activate that, and then walk over here. So I better start working on the treads. He's down to just two main batteries and his anti-personnel, so there's that. So I think we're going to just throw everybody in treads. And those guys are not in range. Oh, they're not in range. Damn it. I thought it said they were. Oh, well. No. It's going to do nothing. Oh, there we go. Two treads. And two more, I think. Yeah, okay, four. It ain't great, but... And now we're done, right? I, I would have sworn those guys were in range, man. Oh, well. I really screwed that up. Let's just move him back here in the line of defense. He can try to overrun him if he wants to. I kind of want to move the stack, you know, when they're similar items. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's I got you. I got you. Okay. 
actually destroy one or what? Hard to tell what's going on. It's not actually hurting any of these marine guys. That's fine. Okay, now I want to absolutely make sure we get everybody in range here. So we've got these guys. They need to be within two. So put them down here on the road. Alright boys, how far you need to be? I don't trust it anymore. I'm just going to go there and in that. No reason not to be right next to this bugger anyway, I guess. We gotta get him. In fact, I'm going to bring them up there so they get another go at it next turn. He's got a lot of 80 personnel though. Alright. I'm gonna call that good over there, and I guess, you know, this guy can actually start moving. And probably this guy, too. What do we got here, the super heavy? Can you move? Let's leave the infantry working on this guy. And we'll leave that heavy as well. Okay. Oh, we don't need to leave anybody working on this guy. Well, what the heck, we'll just do it. Just out of spite. One, 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 one. Sorry. That is my personal joke about how ogres laugh. It's like we did no damage to that guy. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see. But I really should get rid of... I really should get rid of these batteries too, but... I'm gonna just put everybody on treads. Everybody on treads could do up to 28 damage. Let's see how much we actually do. Zero. That is some horrible rolling right there. Really? Come on, man. <laughs> what the deuce? It's bad enough that we're fighting a kilometer long cybernetic vehicle with nuclear shells. But now we gotta endure the ones and twos and threes. There we go. There's a few. I don't know. I don't know if you can stop this guy. I'm gonna have to roll a lot better than this to stop him. That's it, huh? He's got 34 left. And we took out about 8 that round, so. Okay, GED movement phase. Do we move anybody? Let's just get in here. Okay, we got those guys are disabled. He did some work over here. Stop that. Everybody else here is disabled. Um, let me just leave all that. Oh, that's their, yeah, GEV phase. Oh, okay, well that was actually a good thing. So, let's go for treads. Oh, I'm gonna skip the ram though. That doesn't seem to work very well against an ogre. I was hoping I could ram and take out a tread, you know? Oh boy. Alright. Screw it. You guys are going for it, man. Max one damage to treads. If I don't ram, he's gonna blow him up, probably. Although he is down to two guns. Let's try. Let's end the end that phase and let him do his thing. He's gonna take a couple shots. No, no, okay. So, alright. So the secondary batteries are, uh, you know, pretty good, after all. Yeah, those, 
these guys here are pretty well damned. Okay. So there's that. I'm gonna try to block this guy. That's it for you. Come up here. Everybody come up here. You're just gonna... Do your worst over here. Scenarios take so long. Okay, get in there too. Now you guys, come on down, because we're gonna need your help here real soon. And you get on the road. You guys get as far away from that thing as you can, because we don't need to be there anymore. I don't know, it's possible. We can stop it. This is pretty unlikely though. Alright, in phase. We are going to work on you, my friend. Okay. Kind of get over here so I can get access to that. And everybody, please, everybody fire. Alright. Possible 18 damage to Treads. So, Alright, well, that's good, Roll. Can we get a couple of those? Maybe a six? Oh, there's another five. A one. Two. Four. Oh, there's a six. Still no treads though. So I'm very confused by the nomenclature here and by the dice rolling. All right, well anyway, we lost a total of three treads out of 18 possible that time. Uh, we don't need to fire on that guy, so I guess we're done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing a second broadcast on you guys. I'm just moving over land over here. He's still whacking me with that secondary battery. Should have taken it out. We gotta try to keep out in front of this guy the best we can. Okay, infantry, go. They're only going to get one more hit at this guy, I think. We have got to stop him before he gets to the comm center, so... I think that's looking very unlikely. Alright, how far can you get down? Two, three, it's not going to be in range this turn. I'm gonna pull him back, actually, to here. Let's get everybody else as far down as we can. I'm gonna check and see if there's a faster animation speed up here. I like watching it, but it does make it take a bit longer. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Almost got his first set of treads off. Let's go for that. Max of 14 damage. Not going to get it with ones. Uh, there's a five. Okay, one tread. I guess he lost that to the infantry. Three. Come on now. Okay, there's a six. Six was worth two treads, I guess. Okay. Well, that's three treads. So. Alright. Let's see what we could do. Not much, I think. Okay, he didn't do really great on that roll. But it may have been enough. I don't know. Nope. Nope. Seems like we're okay. No, we're not. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Okay. OK. 
Come to here. Can you guys get up here? Yeah, they can get one more. I should have probably gone there. Alright, so they're going to get a swipe in on his treads. These guys... about these guys. Down as far as you can get. Come on. Everybody get. Get moving. Get moving. It's the last day of your life. You want to celebrate that. Alright, let's see. So we're going to end the move phase and it's fire phase. So... This is helpless, man. It's helpless. Yep, both batteries. Yep, both batteries. Go for it. Max 16 damage. Ain't getting it with threes. Alright, there's a five. Oh, there were two good hits in a row. And now my super heavies are paying for themselves a little bit. A whopping five treads lost, though. Okay. He's just gonna drive around me. It's fine. Alright, oh, that's a one. Alright. Good. Marines are staying employed over here. I don't know how. I thought they would be toasted by that dude's anti-personnel stuff. These guys can all just stay there. What do we have over here? Can we get this heavy in range? Yeah, let's bring the heavy in range. And can we get... No. We can't get any troops in range, but maybe if they were on the road. Are these guys going to revive themselves ever? I think they might at some point, but I forget. Okay, treads. Everybody. Much as I'd like to remove some of his weaponry, we got to go for the treads. Alright, there's a possibility of 20 there, and that was a 6. One tread to a 6, unfortunately. Okay, there might be some more. There's two. Total of three. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it. I'm not even gonna look at that die because I'm not following what it's doing. So, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Okay, ramming phase. Um, we need many to stack this target, but we're only going to do one. We need a five or better. We might do four damage. Please? No. Of course not. Alright. Uh, let's try ramming. We might do two damage. Probably not. No, yeah, might have done one. Toasting some dudes. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that was pretty much it for the infantry. Well, all right. Is this really it? I'm it. I'm I'm down to nothing here. So, please tell me you guys can get in range. tank if you want to. What would that be? I'll give you some choices over here. And we can move the Marines back up. 
They look suspiciously like ultramarines, don't they? Uh, let's see. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go for it. I don't see it happening, but we're gonna go for it. Everybody is involved in shooting treads, please. Possible 27 damage. How much will we get? Probably about two. Oh, there's some. Three. That was nice. Super heavy. And the rent. Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. Okay, there's a nice six from the super heavy, I think. Yep, three more treads. Okay, there's some more, maybe. Two treads. Two light. Heavies back here, not gonna do much for me, I think. Rolling ones. Guys, can you not roll the ones? Hmm. Okay. Alright, I guess he's gonna run over me here. Now he's gonna try to toast some more marines with his. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guys. Okay. That's just rude. Alright guys, uh, let's get around this bugger. He didn't move, did he? Why didn't he move? He could have moved, right? He could have rammed me. You know, I don't know. Okay. Into the phase. This is looking desperate here, but we've only got eight more to get. Only eight more. Come on, guys. You can do it. Like this round, even. You could do it. We could do up to 24 damage. It's a, it's a one in three chance ish. Never mind. I don't know statistics. Okay, I see two fours. Those aren't hitting. There's a five, though. Can I have this thing up here? Okay, I think that might be bugged out, maybe. I can't see what's going on because this isn't showing me. So, still early days. It's like uh, version 1.01 or something like that. So I'm sure that some of these little glitches will get taken care of. But there we go. We actually took care of the ogre. And boy, am I tired. All right, I'll see you guys next time around. Thanks for joining me for Ogre. Bye. <laughs>